Hey everyone, welcome to Monday Minutes. I am Pastor Drew, filling in for Pastor Doug this week. And so uh, let's get right into it. I want to ask you a question. How many of you have ever felt like you were lost? Maybe you feel that way right now. You feel like maybe you don't know who you are. Maybe you don't know what you believe or where you're even headed. Maybe you feel like you're going around in circles and never getting anywhere. Whatever the case, feeling lost can be a source of tension, and anxiety. But what if I told you that you're not alone in feeling this way? In fact, in Luke 19.10, Jesus talks about seeking and saving the lost. So obviously it's a big deal. It says this, it says, for the Son of Man came to seek and save those who were lost. That means he's actively looking for people who feel lost and disconnected from God. Or we could say he's on a search and rescue mission. So let's explore what Jesus meant by this statement and how it can bring hope and purpose to our lives, even when we feel lost or uncertain. So the first thing I want to look at in this is it says that Jesus came to seek us out or to search us out. What does that mean? Well, imagine you're in a big city like New York and and you've got there, never been there before, and you've lost everything, and you're searching around trying to figure out where you are. Every corner looks the same. You don't know where your hotel is. You don't know where to get to anywhere. And, you know, tension, anxiety, frustration starts to, to well up. And then suddenly someone comes along and says, hey, man, hey, I saw you were looking really lost, and, and I live here. And uh, so let me help you. I I can show you where your hotel is. I can show you where everything is. Let me get you back to where you're supposed to be. You see, when we're lost in sin and separated from God, that's exactly what Jesus does for us. Jesus comes to seek us out and bring us back to him. He didn't wait for us to find him or figure things out on our own. He came looking for us, and he's still doing that today. So if you're feeling lost or unsure about your faith, remember that Jesus is actively seeking you out. You don't have to have it all together, and you don't have to know all the answers. Just be open to his leading and trust that he will guide you. So Jesus is coming to seek us out. The second point that I want to get at is Jesus came to save us or to rescue us from ourselves even, our own sin. When Jesus found us, he didn't just leave us where we were. He came to save us from our sin and reconcile us to God. Now, I know that could be a big word, but basically it means that Jesus made it possible for us to have a relationship with God the Father again. He did that by dying on the cross and taking the punishment for our sins. Because of his sacrifice, we can be forgiven and made brand new. So imagine you're in a boat and you're sinking and the water is rushing in. There's a hole and it just you find yourself sinking and sinking, knowing that you're drowning in this water if this boat goes under, right? And you got a bucket and you keep trying to get that water out and you keep trying to get that water out, but the water's coming in faster than you can get it out. And you're at a place where you don't know what to do. And then suddenly a boat comes by and stops and says, oh my goodness, hey, I saw you sinking and, and I want to help you. And they throw out a hand and they grab you and they pull you into their boat. That's what Jesus did for you and me. He rescued us from a hopeless situation and he gave us new life. So if you haven't already put your faith in Jesus, I I just encourage you to do that and allow him to save you today. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and come into your life. And if you've already done that, keep trusting him and ask him to guide you and to continue to transform you. And the third thing that I want to point out in this today is that Jesus, it's so important, so important. Jesus came for everyone. It's important to remember that Jesus didn't just come for the select few people. He came for everyone. No matter who you are or what you've done, Jesus loves you and wants to have a relationship with you. He's not just interested in the good people or the ones who have it all together. He's interested in you right where you are today. So imagine you're like at a party and and there's one person who's sitting over in the corner by themselves looking kind of lonely. You could, you know, stick with your friends and have fun and enjoy your time. Or you could go over, talk to them, make them feel welcome, invite them to enjoy the fun with you. That's what Jesus did for you. He didn't ignore us. He didn't leave us out. In fact, he came to us, he reached out to us, and he included us in his family. He included us in the fun. 
So don't ever think that you're too far gone for Jesus to love you or that you're not good enough to be a part of his family. He came for everyone, and that includes you and me. So reach out to him and let him show you how much he cares. As you do, be willing to reach out to others and show them the same kind of love and acceptance that Jesus showed you. Amen? Well, I hope today blessed you. You have an amazing day. If it did bless you, please like and share this to your page. And until next time, have an awesome day.